When I first retired, I started researching different artistic practices, and I also started looking for background and historical information about the art of collage. I was extremely interested in the work of British artists who practiced in the early 1900s, and this curiosity led me to a very inspiring and colorful and creative journey. The practice of collage, or layering one piece of paper beside or on top of another, didn't gain popularity until the 10th century in Japan, when calligraphers began to write their poems over different glued surfaces. Then a practice called shikri evolved as an ancient Japanese art form in which the primary technique used colored paper that was torn to create different images. These beautiful images would often resemble very sophisticated watercolor paintings. Now fast forward to the 1700s, a woman named Mary Delaney became famous for her works depicting flower specimens, which made her a favorite or a darling of the British society. After a careful study of a particular flower, Delaney would often cut up hundreds or thousands of pieces of paper to reassemble and then create these lifelike compositions. Delaney's paper mosaics, as she called them, still pop off the wall with a vibrancy that hides the fact that they were created 250 years ago from tiny shards of hand-tinted paper by a so-called amateur who didn't even start to do this work until she was in her late 70s. Now, the use of paper clippings to create a variety of inventive and imaginative work became a dominant cultural trend by the Victorian era. Though the Royal Academy of Art did not recognize this art form, decoupage artists nonetheless developed a very popular following. And now when we look back on it, their work feels more contemporary than ever. By the end of the 1800s, popular magazines frequently combined images and fragments of other images for advertisements. Culturally, the use of paper clippings for scrapbooks, cards, and decorative screens was widely accepted by the dawn of the 20th century, though the practice was considered akin to a hobby or a craft or affiliated in the domestic realm or often called the home arts. There is a renewed interest in paper mosaics today, and it's often referred to as painting with paper. In the early 1900s, the term collage was used to describe a synthesis or a collection of disparate elements and images to become a coherent whole. The acceptance of collage as an art form resulted in an extraordinary break with the past. Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque were the first well-recognized artists to do this intentionally towards the purposes of artistic exploration and innovation. Thereafter, the art of collage became hugely influential. Now here we can take a look at some of the work of some popular collage artists who followed in the footsteps of Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque. Some work is complex, some is minimalist. There are surreal and crazy compositions, and some look fairly realistic. With collage, there is no right or wrong. The important thing is to allow yourself the time to relax and focus on the items and the supplies and the paper you have right in front of you. Collage work can also be very meditative, so you can add some music and candlelight if the mood strikes. 
Before you start a collage, make sure you have some supplies you'll need to create your own composition. I use both large scissors and small scissors for detail cutting work. Sometimes I use an X-Acto knife. I'll use glue sticks and that might be all I need, but I do keep brushes on hand to apply liquid glue or paste. Of course, you'll want to collect all different kinds of papers and colorful labels and old book pages. When I see an image that appeals to me, I just cut it or tear it and tuck it away, and I might use it as some, at some time in the future. Permanent Sharpies and permanent paint pens don't run or bleed if they get wet with glue, but make sure they're labeled as a permanent item. I always keep a color wheel on hand to help me and make choices with colors and patterns. And now you've probably gathered some supplies and you've created a space on your table and your desk, so it's time to get started.